Matit Yahu, Matthew 2. Now when Yahusha was born in Beit Lechem of Yahud, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came Magi from the east to Yerushalayim, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Yahudim? For we have seen his star rising in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Yerushalayim with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Hamashiach should be born. And they said unto him, In Beit Lechem of, Yehuda, of, rather, of Yehud, for thus it is written by the prophet, And you... Beit Lechem, in the land of Yahudah, are not the least among the princes of Yahudah, for out of you shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Yashar'el. Then Herod, when he had privily called the Magi, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Beit Lechem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw rising in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Miriam, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of El in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of Yahweh appeared to Yosef in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Mitzrayim, and be there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Mitzrayim, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of Yahweh by the prophet, saying, Out of Mitzrayim have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the Magi, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth, and slew all the children that were in Beid Lechem, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the Magi. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Yeremiah the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, Lamentation and weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of Yahweh appeared in a dream to Yosef in Mitzrayim, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Yashara'el, for they are dead which sought the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Yashadael. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Yahud, in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid to go thither. Notwithstanding, being warned of El in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galil. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that is, rather, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Netzari.